is the outdoor living area, the cockpit. The main sheet and the jib sheets are controlled from here. It's a deluxe double steering seat. The backrest can be reversed. It's a custom aluminium bimini frame, much stronger and larger than the, cut, than the standard Fontaine Peugeot bimini frame for all the VCs, which has allows us to have this hard top bimini on which we've been able to install four solar panels. It's a great outdoor area and the fact that we have the all around clears means that we double our living space even when it's raining. The clears can be interchanged with shades, the zips mix and match. So you can have clears or shades or a mixture. The gas colour front is installed outside under the serving bar. It's a really comfortable seating space and I love the galley up. I still get seasick after all these years at sea and so having the galley up for me was a must. It helps me not to get so seasick and to be able to do my share of food preparation. There's also a chest freezer under this seat. It's a good size and plenty big enough to stow enough frozen meals for an eight day passage. It can also be run as a fridge rather than a freezer. It's got a digital thermostat control. So continuing the tour, I'll take you down into the owner's hull. There's a privacy door. In the stairwell, we've got the inverted charger controls and the legacy controls which are still in place from the old 110 volt system. This is one of my favourite things about the boat. Lots of lovely space in the owner's hull with their couch and the desk and good shelving, fantastic cupboard space. There was actually a washing machine in the far hanging cupboard when we bought the boat but it didn't work, so it was one of the first things to be jettisoned. And the master berth, which has a great shelf space. And again, good cupboard space. And looking forward to the main bathroom. Going forward into the main bathroom. A good size owner's version bathroom, with standing shower room, access to the pointy berth which we use for storing fenders. Again, a um, good size cupboard and a full size electric toilet with holding tank. Heading into the saloon on the left, we have an underbench rubbish bin, we use it for a composting bin, double sink and a draining rack which also drains, an Eno 3 burner stove and oven, the pantry is behind the stove. Lots of lovely custom timber work on the ceiling in this boat, again it's an optional extra for Fontaine Peugeot, not the standard cream coloured ceiling. On the nav station we have a stand for an iPad Pro, we use that for navigation with Navionics, Motion X and iSailor with Predict Wind. There's an Aurelian Go that we've had with unlimited data plan to give us unlimited capacity to download new weather files. GME AIS transceiver with a broadcast multiplex allowing, allowing you to both transmit and receive the AIS signals. Again, the legacy 12 volt panel is there and we installed an extra panel when we installed the diesel heating and rewired the freezer from its previous 110 volt to 12 volt state. And I can be a 
handkerchief and we've kept a vinyl cover on the table at all times while we've owned the boat which has allowed us to keep it in pristine condition. Heading down into the port hull, the guest hull, we've got um, again custom drawers that are fitted in. This is the only Louise to have these. A cutlery drawer and either a large utensil drawer or, or more important supplies. We have the isotherm drawer fridge with a small freezer, which I love. Almost the mirror of the master berth. Nice size double berth. Again with a shelf and storage space. Storage underneath the berth as well. A standard bed with tap that pulls out to shower. There is a shower drain in the floor for that purpose. Again storage in the wall and under the sink. Second guest berth, again a double size berth, slightly narrow at the pointy end, with storage under the berth and hanging space in the cupboard, and a slightly smaller shelf forward, again with access to the pointy berth. All of the berths have two 40 volt and 12 volt outlets in them, and they all have 12 volt fans. There's a VHF radio, the main radio inside, with a second hand unit at the steering station. As I said, the double steering seat has a reversible backrest, so you can use it when underway, facing forwards, or flip the backrest for when you're at anchor and you want to use it to enjoy a glass of wine at sunset. great dive box with plenty of storage and the full stainless steel railings which enclose the transom are uh, an added safety feature and also custom for the Fontaine Peugeot Levitzi. There is um, a hole for a wind generator which used to be on the boat. It was decommissioned before we bought it but the pole is still there if somebody wanted to reinstall it. the grey matting on the floor because the cockpit is designed to drain through the cockpit into this area in the step and drain out through there. So without the grey matting on the floor you end up with a wet, pot, wet cockpit floor over winter which isn't great for walking clean feet inside the boat. And the Yanmar motors are only two years old, just over 140 hours on 